Ever get that eerie feeling your phone knows too much? It's almost as if it's quietly watching, learning, and remembering every little thing you do, even when you're not paying attention. Like when you get an ad for the exact oat milk at the cafe you're sitting in. It's not just a coincidence. Your phone is constantly collecting data, and companies are eager to use it to predict your every craving. It's not just advertisers. Anyone with some skill and a laptop can track you using the digital breadcrumbs you leave behind. Every click, every search, every location ping is a clue, and the trail is longer than you think. This isn't about spy satellites or secret agents lurking in the shadows. It's about open source intelligence, or OSINT, finding info that's already out there, hiding in plain sight. Anyone can access it, and it's shockingly easy to piece together. Every photo, check-in and comment you post adds up, creating a surprisingly clear picture of your habits and location. Even your likes and shares can reveal patterns about your daily routine. Your phone is a talkative beacon, constantly sharing little whispers about your life. It broadcasts your location, your interests, and even your sleep schedule, all without you saying a word. Most of the time, those whispers are harmless until someone decides to listen closely. That's when your digital life becomes an open book for anyone curious enough to read it. Hackers can collect these fragments and build a profile so detailed it's jaw-dropping. They can know where you've been, who you've met, and even predict where you'll go next. They don't need fancy tech, just patience and free tools. With a few clicks, they can uncover more about you than you'd ever expect. It's a modern detective story and you're the main character. The clues are everywhere and the case is always open. In the next sections, we'll reveal how hackers turn your innocent online activity into a powerful tracking tool. You'll see just how easy it is to connect the dots. Ready to meet the ghost in your pocket? It's been there all along, quietly following you from place to place. Let's pull back the curtain and see what your digital ghost has been up to. Before we go further, let's get serious for a second. The info we're about to share is powerful. Think movie-level hacking, but real. This is for education, not for stalking your neighbor or pulling pranks. Using these techniques without consent is illegal. Think stalking, harassment, and invasion of privacy. We're showing you the tricks so you can protect yourself, not so you can become a villain. Think of it like learning how burglars break in, not to rob, but to secure your own home. Our goal, help you build a stronger digital fortress. Knowledge is your best defense. So as we dive in, remember, we're the good guys, learning the dark arts to fight them, not join them. Absorb, reflect, and use this info to stay safe. And if you want more tips, subscribe to our channel or newsletter. Now, let's get started. So, what is OSINT? It stands for Open Source Intelligence, public info anyone can access. Journalists use it to uncover stories. Businesses use it to size up competitors. Hackers use it to dig up personal details. The magic of OSINT is that it's legal to gather. What matters is how it's used. Think of the internet as a messy library. Most people grab what they need and leave. OSINT pros notice every detail. Their tools range from advanced Google searches to specialized platforms that scan social media, public records, and forums. They use search operators, Google Dorking, to find exactly what they want. Specialized OSINT tools automate the process, pulling together data into neat reports. It's like having a tireless research assistant. This is the foundation. Gather every public scrap before getting technical. Social media is a goldmine for OSINT, open source intelligence. Every day, millions of people willingly share details about their lives, often without a second thought. For hackers and investigators, this is a treasure trove of information just waiting to be uncovered. Every photo, check-in, and tag you post is a clue. Each notification, each like, and every comment adds another piece to the puzzle of your life. Geotagging is the most obvious giveaway. Post a photo with a location, and you're literally putting yourself on the map for anyone to see. It's like dropping a digital pin that says, I was here. But even if you don't tag your location, your photo's metadata, known as EXIF data, can quietly reveal GPS coordinates and other details about where and when the photo was taken. Hackers can extract this info with free, easily accessible tools, pinpointing your exact location in seconds. 
But it doesn't stop there, it goes much deeper. A street sign, a business name, or even a unique piece of architecture in your photos can give away your address or favorite hangouts, even if you never mention them directly. Hackers use tools like Google Street View to match backgrounds and narrow down your location, sometimes to the exact building or street corner. It's not just about single posts, it's about patterns. Over time, your activity forms a timeline that reveals your habits and routines, posting from the same coffee shop every Monday. That's a pattern someone can exploit. Checking in at the gym every Tuesday, that's another piece of your weekly routine exposed. Over time, hackers can build a detailed map of your routine, where you live, work, and spend your free time. Your daily movements become predictable. Your social media activity becomes a detailed blueprint of your life, outlining your habits, preferences, and even your relationships. Even seemingly harmless posts, like a selfie at home or a photo with friends, can reveal more than you think especially when analyzed in context. Hackers look for patterns, connections, and context, linking information from different platforms to build a complete profile of you. The more you share, the easier it is to track you. Oversharing makes their job effortless. Your digital life is on display for the world to see, so be mindful of what you reveal and think twice before you post. Next, let's see what happens when your secrets get spilled and how quickly things can spiral out of control. Now let's talk about info you didn't mean to share, data breaches. When companies get hacked, their user databases often end up online, full of names, emails, addresses, and phone numbers. Hackers search these leaks for your info, cross-referencing details from multiple breaches. A phone number in one breach and address in another, combine them, and suddenly your identity is exposed. Tools like have I been pound? Let anyone check if their data's been leaked, but hackers use similar sources for their own gain. A phone number alone is just digits, but paired with your name and email, it becomes a powerful key. Hackers use this to target you with scams, access your accounts, or track you down. Your leaked data becomes a permanent searchable record. Remember the old phone book? Now it's online and way more powerful. People search sites and data brokers scrape public records, social media, and marketing lists to build detailed profiles. Hackers can look up your name or phone number and get addresses, relatives, even property records. Reverse lookups reveal who owns a number, and cross-referencing fills in the gaps. These sites are a shortcut for hackers, offering a ready-made dossier. Some charge a fee, others are free, but the info is out there. The humble phone book has evolved into a surveillance tool. Your personal details are just a search away. Let's see how this process unfolds in a real-world scenario, step by step, to understand just how much can be uncovered from seemingly harmless details. Meet Jane Doe. Imagine a hacker who knows only her name and the city she lives in. Nothing more to start with. The hacker begins by searching social media platforms. Soon, they find Jane's public profile. In one of her photos, a colorful mural appears in the background. Using Google, they quickly identify the neighborhood where that mural is located, narrowing down her possible whereabouts. In another post, Jane shares a picture of her coffee cup, tagged at her favorite local cafe. This gives the hacker a specific spot she frequents, adding another piece to the puzzle. A birthday party photo reveals even more. Her friends are tagged, and the hacker can now explore their profiles too expanding the web of information and potential connections. By running Jane's name through people search websites, the hacker uncovers a possible phone number and a list of old addresses, building a more complete profile. To confirm the phone number, the hacker tries a password reset on a social media site. The partial digits shown match the number they found, verifying their discovery without ever needing to break in. Now the hacker has Jane's phone number, her favorite hangouts, her circle of friends, and even a possible home address, all from public sources. By keeping an eye on her social media posts, especially those with location tags, they can even estimate where Jane is in real time, tracking her movements as she shares updates. All of this information was gathered without hacking her phone or breaking any laws, just by using OSINT, or open source intelligence techniques. It's a chain reaction. One small clue leads to another, 
and soon a detailed picture emerges from the digital breadcrumbs Jane left behind. Jane's digital life, from her posts to her check-ins, reveals her real-world movements and habits, often without her realizing it. That's the true power and the real danger of public information. It's a reminder to always be mindful of what we share online, because even innocent details can be pieced together by someone with the right skills and intent. Feeling exposed? Don't worry, you can patch those leaks. First, think before you share. Ask. Who needs to see this? What am I revealing? Lock down your social media. Set profiles to private and audit old posts for personal info. Delete anything that reveals your address, license plate, or local landmarks. Check your phone's location settings. Turn off location access for apps that don't need it. Disable GPS tagging in your camera app to avoid leaking location in photos. Use strong, unique passwords for every account. Password managers help. Sign up for breach alerts like, have I been pound? Opt out of data broker sites when possible. It takes effort, but reclaiming your privacy is worth it. Be proactive, your digital safety is in your hands. Let's wrap up with some final thoughts. We've uncovered how hackers use public info to track you. No hacking required. The key isn't to fear the internet, but to be aware and take control. Your digital footprint tells a story. Make sure you're the author. Stay informed, keep learning, and practice good digital hygiene. The landscape changes fast, so stay vigilant. Want more tips? Subscribe for practical advice and deep dives. Stay safe, stay smart, and stay tuned. Thanks for watching.